building ASP.NET Core Web API using AWS Lambda and Amazon API Gateway REST API. Hello everyone, my name is Ankur Jain and in this video, I will show you how you can create an ASP.NET Core Web API and deploy it on AWS Lambda. You will also see how we can expose this API using Amazon API Gateway. So here is the reference architecture that I'm showing you. Uh, and this is the same we are going to cover in this practical uh, hands-on video. So you will be creating a .NET Core Web API. Then you will deploy this Web API on this Lambda function. Then you will create an API gateway and you will see how you can expose this Lambda function via API gateway. And then we will get a URL and we can access that URL through our client uh, for example in this video we will be accessing it through browser but you can you know also call that api through your um, uh, application code as well and uh, here are few uh, prerequisites so you will need an aws accounts because we are going to use that to deploy api gateway in lambda you will need visual studio you will also have to install aws toolkit for visual studio and we are going to you know use dotnet 6 so you will need .NET 6, ASP.NET Core 6 or higher. Okay, so let's start. So first I'm going here in my Visual Studio and I'm going new project and here I will select ASP. Okay, just select search Web API. So you will see ASP.NET Core Web API. So here you can um, REST API or I can Lambda api demo okay so i'm going to create this project with lambda api demo and do next then configure for https and uh, use controllers because we are not going to use minimal apis and you can uh, select enable open api support as well okay then create so this should create an asp.net core web api project with dotnet 6 okay so we have uh, i mean the project has been created you can see it uh, here now what we are going to do okay let's move to our uh, document so we have to install this web package okay because this is necessary when we are working or when we are deploying the application to aws lambda so first go here and just search for manage nuket packages and then install this nuket package so remember i mean you 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 don't need to create any this web api project from any specific uh, template it just create this uh, web api project from uh, the normal web api uh, that you usually create and after creating this project you just need to install this nuget package so i am just accepting this okay so the now nuget package i guess is installing okay so let's close this okay so nuget package is installed so now i have also uh, added some reference here so i will come to that reference later but yeah now just add this line in your program.cs so go to program.cs and before you know you are building this just add this line build at services add add aws lambda hosting and here you can keep http api okay so now i am taking you to this page what happens and i will also copy the name of this nuket package and you can search it so here you can read out this statement so when the asp.net core project is run locally aid aws lambda hosting does nothing so uh, when you are running this application locally uh, this will be ignored okay now does nothing allowing the normal dotnet kestrel web server to handle the local experience when running in lambda at aws lambda hosting sweeps out kestrel with asp.net core server so when you are when you have deployed this application on lambda uh, this particular extension method will sweep out your kestrel server which is the default dotnet core server with this server and this is again a nuget package which is developed by aws so 
now your requests are handled by this ASP.NET Core server instead of Kestrel and allowing Lambda and API Gateway to act as a web server instead of Kestrel. So this way, you know, the request coming from API Gateway will be first understood by this uh, custom nugget package which is developed by AWS and then it will execute your controller and actions. So I mean, uh, this is just if you want to know how does it work, then uh, I have, you know, sh uh, I have taken you to this page, but yeah, otherwise, if you don't want to go in that detail, then it is fine. So you have just added this here. Okay, so now I think, we, yeah, that's all. So th you are done with the uh, changes uh, in order to run your web API as a Lambda function. So now what I will do, I will go here and again, I will close this. You need to just copy this particular tag and update it in CS approach. Okay, so why I have done it? Because uh, as of now, Visual Studio don't understand that this is a Lambda project. But once I add this, it will understand that this is a Lambda project and how you will make, uh, how we will know that it understand that it is a Lambda project. You will right click here and you will see it. You will get an option published to AWS Lambda. Okay. So if you don't do this, you will not get this option. Okay. So now what is the next step? Now you are done with the API stuff for this demo. So now we are done with the API stuff. Okay. So before deploying this Lambda function to AWS cloud, uh, we have two options either we can directly publish it from here and once we publish it will create a lambda function in our AWS account but we are going first in AWS console and then we will create the lambda and then we will deploy it he here so I will just type lambda and I will create a new lambda so This is spinning up okay so here i will go in functions and i will create a function and what is my name of function so okay i'm closing this window lambda api demo so lambda api demo however you can keep any name but i am just keeping it same i will choose runtime so i will select dot net 6 i'm using x86 not arm and then I guess advanced settings. I'm leaving this as it is. Okay, you can click enable function URL. However, you can also do it later, but I'm doing it uh, right away. And here, or type none. Or, okay, leave it. I mean, we will do it later. So just create this lambda function. So once the Lambda function is created, we will again come here and now we will click on publish to AWS Lambda. And okay, so you can see this Lambda function is now appearing here that we created in console. So you will go here and just copy this function name and make sure that every everything is correct so architecture is x86 description is not required framework is dotnet 6 configuration is released in handler make sure paste the same name as the project because here we need to paste the assembly name and uh, assembly name for this uh, application will be the same as the project name so just type it uh, same or keep it same as your project name and keep it ticked then next okay so now uh, it has already auto selected the role and uh, the memory is uh, we are using 512 mb but you can change it as per your requirement but uh, but i'm uh, going with the same and you can add environment variables here so you can click here and add environment variable that you can access in your lambda function but yeah i'm not uh, going with that complexity so i'm just simply clicking upload and what it will do it will publish my nuket package on my local machine and will upload the zip to the lambda function 
so it is publishing you can see the zipping publish folder so it has first published the lambda function and then zipped and now it will upload so the lambda function is now uploaded and i can also test it from here but since it is a web application uh, i am not going to test it here i will test it from browser so now i will go here and okay so now we have deployed the lambda function uh, from our, our dotted core web api to uh, this lambda function but we have this api and that this api has controller weather forecast and uh, yeah as of now it it has only one get control get action but you can create as many controller or as many action as you want and to access this as an as an endpoint you will have to expose uh, expose some endpoint from your lambda function so now we are going to do that so how we will do that we will go here in configuration in function urls so this is what i was trying earlier but i i mean you can do it after deployment as well so you can just click on create function url and none i am not uh, selecting any authentication here and i am not also configuring the course and just click save so once you do that you will get this url here you, you can copy this and you can paste it in browser so it is not working so now what you will have to do you have to type okay what is the weather forecast so you just need to type weather forecast and see if it works or not so you can see that this api is working so you have uh, deployed your first web api on aws lambda using function urls and it is working okay so next thing uh, i mean this is the one way of uh, creating api but i would not recommend you to create an api that is hosted or that, that is exposed via function urls but instead you should use api gateway which is specifically built to expose the web api so uh, now we are going to uh, understand how we can do that okay so i uh, i'm going to again delete this function url because we are not going to use it so i'm going to delete it okay so now i have deleted the function url and you can see it won't work okay so it is not working now okay so now what is next step create lambda function in aws console we have done that deploy we have done that expose the web api using amazon api gateway so now we are going to do this so what you need to do first go and search api gateway close this okay so here okay it is taking me to the new newer ui here go and click apis okay now here you will get multiple options create rest api so you have this http api websocket api rest api and uh, rest api private so i am not going to select websocket because we are not going to deal with websocket anyway we are not going to create private api so there are two options remaining rest api and http api http apis are uh, you know kind of cheaper and but has limited functionality but uh, rest api are rich in feature and uh, it is it is little bit expensive but yeah it has you know uh, all the features that you will need eventually so uh, in this demo i am going to use rest api so i will click build okay and i will create a new api instead of example api and i will name this uh, okay my api uh, my first api okay and i'm selecting this regional not private not edge to me optimized click on create api okay. so now you have created your api so now next thing is you need to 
I mean, you will have you will see this screen and the resources part is selected here. So resources is nothing like you will have to define what kind of routes your API will have. So this is the root route. OK, so now I will create a resource and I will use proxy here. OK, I am just, you know, and we are using proxy integration. So I will just copy this and type this. OK, so now if you don't know what is proxy integration, uh, you can read it uh, on AWS documentation. But in a nutshell, I can tell you like uh, whatever request, uh, whatever like in uh, request that is coming to your web server like uh, headers or query strings or body anything so all those things will be as it is forwarded to the lambda function and now lambda function will read those uh, incoming payload headers query parameters and all understand it and will you know respond to you so you don't have to uh, i mean th that's why we are able to execute multiple controllers or multiple actions uh, in our lambda function i mean uh, maybe i have not explained you uh, perfectly but you can if once you read it you will get a better understanding so i'm just selecting proxy here okay and i'm not enabling course here and okay yeah i am selecting create resource and once i select it i'm selecting any because uh, a client may send any any kind of request like a, he may, a client may send a get request post request or uh, delete request option request any kind of request so i am just selecting any here lambda proxy integration now here i will select my lambda so once i type anything it will suggest me so i will select lambda api demo use default timeout and then click save okay so add permissions to lambda functions so what it will do you it will add resource policy uh, in our lambda function so that you know this api gateway will uh, have permission to invoke that uh, lambda function so it is asking us to grant that permission to this api gateway so i will click okay okay so now we have created our api gateway and configured it with proxy integration so now we have not uh, still we have not received any url how we will invoke this uh, api gateway so what we will do we will have to deploy this api so uh, let me and i will create a new stage for now i'm creating a dev stage and yeah deploy so once i deploy you will see that i have been moved from resources to stages and here my one stage is created here i will once I click here, I will get this. And if I click on this URL, I can access my, access my, uh, you know, the request is going to my Lambda function. Since uh, we are using weather forecast, so let me try with weather forecast. Okay, oh, okay, I got this. So how our request is going to lambda function but it is not uh, able to execute our api the reason we have to redeploy our lambda function so here i had used http api so i have to change it to rest api because http api was working with uh, so what was that function url but in order to work with API gateway, specifically we have created REST API, so we will have to change this. And now I have to again redeploy it. So publish to AWS Lambda and next. So it will uh, recompile, republish, and re-upload. Okay. So it is doing the job. And meanwhile, we will also come to the Lambda. I personally think this is the cheapest way to develop uh, or run your web API uh, because uh, everything is serverless. The Lambda functions are very cheap. And API gateway is very cheap. So even you can run uh, a production ready application in maybe if, if that is having less traffic in uh, less than five dollar or uh, four dollar 
per month so i think nothing could be cheaper than this and you are running it on aws cloud so you get that kind of reliability trust and you can build it build with a confidence on aws so you can see the lambda function is updated it is modified at 36 30 seconds ago now i should try it should work okay you can see so now you uh, you are you know you are using api gateway to invoke your uh, invoke your dotnet core api which is uh, basically running in lambda function and you don't see kind of cold start uh, however there is a cold start but it is uh, very fast and even uh, in, in your first request may take two seconds but yeah the subsequent request will be way faster so you you are running i mean you are executing this api through amazon api gateway and we are using proxy integration in that so now one thing i would uh, call out here so here it is not an issue you are uh, getting the response but once you uh, uh, once you deploy uh, sorry once you use this application and call these endpoints from from an angular app you may get course issue so for that you just need to go here and you have to use app dot use course uh, use course and uh, here you have to provide the policy name and uh, here in builder or services you have to define that policy so you may find that uh, over the internet or i will also attach a link how to fix that issue if you get in future so yeah i mean in this video we have learned how we can run our dotnet core web api in aws lambda function using function urls and we also learn how learn how we can deploy it on amazon api gateway uh, uh, so yeah that's all i had in this video i hope you uh, you have liked this video so please like this video and uh, subscribe my channel uh, to have more such videos thank you very much